Article 16, pickleball courts, to see if the town will vote and or vote to raise an appropriate $490,000 for the design and construction of up to 10 pickleball courts. This special warrant article will be non-lapsing will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 section 6 um, and will not lapse <coughs> until the earlier of the completion of its purpose or June 30th 2030. If passed, this article required the town to raise $490,000 in property taxes resulting in a tax impact rate of 0. 077 dollars in fy25 based upon projected assessed values okay so for the dais what we had discussed in the past was is whether we would use any of the undesignated fund balance for this particular article mm -hmm. is that still on the table before i send this to the public right how much yeah, I, I think no. how much how much is left in our ufv yeah well, we've got 6.2 million what do we need yeah. from what's the threshold the state well, we're, we're above the threshold, oh, yeah. but any time you ask the finance director, his answer is no. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I trust him. So the question is for the council, not for the <laughs> finance director. So, so I will give my contract? spiel. What? I will give my spiel. Oh, uh, so in our current, it's 10 o'clock. We're good. Based on our current policy, we can spend <laughs> up to 4.3. Based on our old policy, that takes into account the school district where we give them their money. We can spend seven hundred thirty-eight thousand. Based on DRA's recommendation, we can spend one hundred eighty-three thousand, and based on GFOA, the Governmental Finance Officers Association, we can spend fifty-one thousand. Meanwhile, we're already putting your fee towards other items. Right. So, right. we were just about to put five hundred towards the Lions Hall. So you know, I, I, I my vote's no. Put any money towards it. So I'll speak anything up from the UFB. I'd say no. The law says no. This is a want and not a need. If we're going to put any money towards it, we need to put it towards the towards the needs of the town. Well, let's hear from the public. Okay. Uh, Ray Burson, three Gary Drive. Uh, I think I concur with uh, Ron. Did you say? It? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a want, not a need, and uh, it's fine. Uh, pickleball probably is a really nice thing. Uh, maybe I can even play it, but uh, it's not a need. It's not a need. I mean, if, peop if it's good people want to exercise, they want to play a game, all well and good, you know? Uh, unfortunately, uh, most of the people that play are probably over the age of 55. Uh, not everybody, but... Uh, once again, uh, this is a nice idea, uh, but we're talking uh, almost a half a million dollars uh, to put in 10 fields uh, that have to be maintained. Maybe that's going to be covered by something else. I don't know. But uh, with, with everything that's going on and all the burden the taxpayers are trying to deal with, you know, we're, we're totally we're talking about uh, probably in – close to $130 million, maybe more, if we are counting everything. Um, and and uh, this is not a need. Uh, it's fine if people want to go out and raise the money privately, have companies donate uh, to do the work, so forth and so on, but this should not be put on the burden of the taxpayers. That's what I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Richard Belinsky, 89 Hall Road. A couple of questions on this. I've been watching some of the meetings on this, and I know they've done a lot of work. Is there a, is there a definitive and definite spot to put this? I heard West Road possible. If we don't have a definitive and a spot that's already set for this, well, we may have land acquisition costs. During the presentation, I also believe they said between four and ten public courts. Well, four courts is 1225 a court. Ten courts is 49,000 a court. To me, this looks like an incomplete set of numbers. Should know where the land is, because if we have to buy land, it's going to increase it if we can't put it on something the town owns. And I'd like to know how many courts 
122.5 a quart is a lot different than 49,000 a quart. Again, this is kind of like the Lions Hall. It's an incomplete Warren article, in my opinion. Arthur Salidas, 12 Mont Vernon Drive. I'm not sure where the court's going. West Road has a beautiful site <coughs> for it. Um, to answer Mr. Belinsky's question, when you put the shovel in the ground, you don't know what's under there. That was the problem we had a couple of years ago, and you don't know until you, till you've done it. If we were multimillionaires building a new building that we're going to rent for millions of dollars, we would do borings and whatever. But we don't know until we put, until they put the shovel in the ground. I object to one of the previous speakers saying I'd like to see him do fundraisers. And I'll say what I said a couple of years ago. Did we ask the firemen and the policemen and the library to do cookie sales and bake sales to build their buildings? We're asking for things for people to recreate. Do we ask the library, why don't you rent the books instead of let, let, let people read them? People want to recreate. It's part of, I go back to JFK way back in the day about a healthy body, and I think people who are active want to be active, and I think we need to afford that opportunity to them without having them stand on the corner doing a cake sale or bake sale, a little cans to collect quarters and dimes. So is it worth it? I think it's very much worth it, but I'm very biased towards recreation. So that's it. Notice how brief I was, Dan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan Bouchard, 8 O'Connell Drive, you get that? Okay. Uh, I just want to point out a, a couple things on, on the fundraiser part, okay? I don't know how many people were here back then when they were going to do a fundraiser for a skating rink in town. How well did that go? Never happened, okay? So. We, we don't have a skating rink? Nope, we don't. <laughs> All right. Um, again, we talk about aging community. Want to keep us active. All right, pickleball court be nice. Think about what we do for the seniors in this community, all right? As long as I've lived in this community, the seniors always take a back seat to everything, okay? It took forever to get that senior center, all right, done so people could go up there and enjoy that. I don't see why you can't take the money out of the undesignated fund balance for this, okay? Because you were going to do it for the Lions Hall, um, and that got poo-pooed away. So maybe we could look at it doing it this way. I'm sure that these people who have done a lot of work on this project will go back to their contractors that they've talked to, and I know a few contractors in this community that would be more than happy to help them. They'll probably help with the cost of this project. <coughs> All right? So I think this is uh, something that the town should support. Thank you. My name is Brian Smolik. I live on 25 Molten Drive. I'm a member of the Pickleball Task Force. Uh, the comments that were made a, little, a minute ago, I take great exception, as do my colleagues here on the committee. We did do our homework. Mm -hmm. We did do a study. We've got this down to a penny in terms of what the costs are to do this right. We are one of, <clears throat> within 20 miles of Londonderry, there is not one town, not one, that is in the position we are right now is not having a pickleball facility. You know, we use the words, we lead the way in London Dairy. No, no, we lag the way when it comes to what was said earlier about, about our seniors. We just don't have any programs here. Not to mention, it's a high school sport very soon. Not to mention, it's going to be something that we do here in town, people like myself. And going to Litchfield, which, by the way, and I give them great credit, <coughs> they've shared everything they've done to do it right with us and make this thing go, go forward in the right way. <coughs> Their courts are packed. They have long lines, and they've cut off registration for non-residents. So where do we play in London Dairy? Do we beg? I don't think so. We lead the way. So we have this thing down to a science. We know how much money we need. We have the vendors lined up. I've done an R we've done an RFQ. We know what the costs are. 
And <clears throat> when we choose to do an RFP where we have best and final bids coming in, that 490 may not even be high, it'll be low. Excuse me, we may not even need that much money, but we don't know until we have the green light from you. So please, we do need your support. Thank you. Pardon? Oh, and of course, and one more thing. West Road has been identified from the get-go as a place to go. We looked at other options right here. Feasibility for some land that turned out to be wetland or incomplete land, it's gonna be West Road. We've looked at it with the vendors. We know we're going. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, Heather Burke Harry, 132 Pillsbury Road. Um, just in addition to what they've said, I had mentioned a grant before, and I believe Steve talked about it last time, but there are different options that we are looking into, one of which is the Division of Parks and Recreation Land and Water Conservation Fund grant. I actually have a list here. I won't read them all, but there's 34 open grants, um, anywhere from 50000 to I think the highest one is $1 million. Um, and those are something that the pickleball courts, when I talked to the gentleman, he said this is something that they would likely approve. And these are all different things from rail trails, different networks that have been done in towns that this would fall into. Um, and it's a one-to-one -one program that's typically anywhere from 40000 to 500000 that they reimburse. So if the town pays, let's just say 490000 for the courts, and this grant would get approved, up to half of that would get sent back right back to the town. And that's just something that the town has to work on, so I can't give specifics because they will only work with specifically someone from the town. But we are looking at different avenues, so we appreciate your support. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. I got one quick question. <coughs> so if the town put $490,000, voted that in, and we came out of undesignated fund balance, and they got grants, <coughs> let's say 200, all right, then we're not getting taken 490 out of the undesignated fund balance. We'd only be, be taken 290. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The other thing I want to mention too um, is that if correct me if I'm wrong, uh, pickleball task force that um, the 490,000 is the one-time <coughs> fee, and that there will be an annual membership fee to reserve some of the courts that should pay for the annual upkeep and maintenance of it. So it's a one-time, basically tax charge, and then the rest of it will be self-funding. Correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to form. Uh, we, with your permission, of course, the 5013C Londonderry Pickleball Association, much like Litchfield has formed the same exact thing. The fees that get paid into that, by the way, anybody in towns can play for free. If these courts are set up, anybody can play for free. We're going to have some set aside times for members who are paying the, the annual dues to be part of the Pickleball Association. That money will pay for all the maintenance that's required for new nets, new, new surfacing, uh, lying the parking lot, you name it. But it will take care of itself, and I will not need to come back to you. We will not need to come back to you next year asking for more money because we need to get a, you know the fences fixed. No. The numbers that you had provided to us before, did you have a breakdown for the engineering costs and construction? All built in. All built in. The number that I got from the people doing the site prep, Yeah. okay, that's all built in, that number. Do you, do you have the number for the site and the engineering? N the engineering itself, no, I do not. Okay. The specifics, I do not. But again, when we go to do the RFP, the final, the big one, that'll be broken down by the penny again and by categories. As I said, I broke this down into what, eight phases mm -hmm. of activity? Mm -hmm. Okay. What you're asking for is part of phase one. What is phase one? Site prep. And do you remember what the number was? Yeah. Uh, that was closer to $250,000. That was the biggest chunk right there that we had to set aside for. And again, that's the quote that was given us. What will be the final bid when we get more vendors involved, which we will do at the time, and maybe much lower? Mr. Chair, I'd like to propose that we do UFB of 250 and we do the taxpayers for another 250. That way we have a bit of skin in the game as the town and that we're putting forth for the site and engineering work. Okay. Do you want to speak? Um, I don't know if you guys are going to yay that. No. <laughs> 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 I don't want to stop it. Uh, uh, I'm Dawn Carver, 12 Preserve Drive in Londonderry, also a member of the task force. Um, we have done a lot of work on this. Um, 
and I just, if any of you have ever seen or played pickleball, we're going to bring it down to um, the town in uh, January 27th. Um, but anyway, it's very fun. It's very social. I think e after COVID, it, it was probably the reason why it took off so well is because people finally can get back and talk to people and be social. And if you ever saw all the smiles on people's faces, young, old, people playing with their grandchildren, anything, it's not just for old people. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that I really, I have my son moved to town here. He bought a house in town. I have a grandchild. In the future, I want to be able to play with him, and I would like to have these courts in Londonderry. And also on the other thing about how much upkeep it is, there was a study that Steve had said that th there's not really as much that much upkeep anyway, even though, so it's not a lot of money. And also on what Brian noted about a membership, that doesn't mean that, like he said, they're public courts. We're not gonna take all the courts up. We'll, if there's 10 courts, We'll use five of them, and then there'll be five open, or if there's six courts, whatever. It's not going to be like, you'll be able to come and play, and you'll have fun. So hopefully everybody will be voted up for us. <laughs> and the taxpayers, you will do whatever you can to say yes to our vote. Thank, Thank you. you. Sean Faber, 73-year-old Nashua Road. Um, is this something that the ARPA funds can be used for, or is this not fit into that categorization? If the uh, two million dollars doesn't get used for the uh, water, yes, it's something that the ARPA funds can. Okay, because that—that's what I was thinking. Is maybe this should be done from that instead of the unassigned balance? Just yeah, there's not enough money in the ARPA funds right now. If the two million dollars goes away, mm -hmm. gotcha. It's a good question, okay, though. it's a good question. It's a—it's a balancing act yeah. right mm -hmm. now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I've got just a comment. Sure, um, of course. Uh, my my understanding, we talked earlier. Uh, is that those like fee-based decisions aren't final? Is that correct? They they correct. have to all be approved by the council. Yeah. And that's that's my main concern. Like we're kind of walking into a big project without having a finalized uh, fee-based structure even decide on. And I get maybe the, pro the project comes first. I, I kinda, I'm not really excited about uh, more fees for one residents, given that they get to foot the bill of the project. Think of, think about it from this perspective. It's more like Lapa. It's more like the Wildcats. It's more like these, it's more like that, where we, we own all the fields and the facilities and everything, and they form a group. And they, and they come to the town and say, hey, we would like to use this. The council may say no, but you know, it's an idea. Right. And, yeah. and those fees are only gonna be for members of the Lindenberry Pickleball Association that want to be able to make reservations of courts. Those fees enable the users to make reservations. There's still going to be courts open to the public for Londonderry residents who don't want to pay any fees at all, and they're going to be able to play. Right. The, the, yes. they, Just the like benefit, you don't play tennis today. The benefit that they're <laughs> gaining by the fees is the ability to make a reservation. That is correct. Uh, Steve Spaziani, 12 Gary Drive. Um, but, yeah, that's essentially correct. The idea is that we want to charge, we, at your discretion, uh, will charge a set dollar value for membership into the of the uh London Air Pickleball Association, and those members would have the opportunity to book a court earlier than non-members, still residents, but if, if you and I want to play together and we want to book a week in advance, we can, because we're members. We book court three a week from now. Somebody who's a, non, who's a resident who just wants to play but doesn't pay a fee might want to book three days in advance or something like that, and this is something that has to be decided upon. But it is an option. That's how a lot of towns do it. Yeah, it, it'd be very comparable to something along the lines of, like, in other states, there's counties that own golf courses or states that own golf courses. And if you become a member of it, you get, you get preferential tee times on the weekends. But it doesn't mean that you can't play at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It'd be more along those lines. Right. And I understood. Uh, I, you know, I just have the concern. Uh, the, understood. The, the, Plan's not in place. It could be moving, right? The fee is optional. Well, additionally, there might be more grants that's proposed, so that total dollar amount might be a lot less, which would ultimately go. Yeah, I, n I don't think the maintenance cost is, we, again, we talked earlier, is huge. I just don't see the reason to have a fee, you know, if taxpayers are paying for it. And you know what? The people may say, if, they, if we go down this path, the people may say, we don't want a fee. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, 
here in the United States of America, we get to be able to make those decisions. <laughs> That's optimistic, which, which uh, I'd like to go that way. But uh, I'm just saying, since we haven't made a decision, you, need you know. A so you, I do, go ahead. I'm sorry. Real quick. No, I was just say I'm not against pickleball at all. I know everyone up here thinks I am. I'm not against pickleball at all. <laughs> I, no I'm, I've talked to a lot of people. I'm not against I'll, pickleball. I'll buy you a pickleball set. <laughs> I'm against in this economy in this tax year that we're in. We have so many Warren articles that are important that using this money to spend it on on pickleball is a need and not a want. I mean, if you're going to choose between giving Dave money to buy plow trucks. Would you rather have plow trucks or have pickleball courts? You know, that's all I'm saying is I'm not against pickleball. I'm just not, I'm against spending $490,000 on pickleball courts when we could spend that money on things that we need that are on these Warren articles. Th that's all I'm saying. I'm not against pickleball. You guys did a great job. I just can't justify spending $490,000 when we have other needs in the town that I feel are much more important. I want to I want to disagree with Ron respectfully that oh, please. I think that that we are behind the other communities in the area and before we get into ourselves you know get ourselves 10 years down the road where we're embarrassingly far behind other communities in the area this is a nice thing that that we can do for the residents and do for the seniors who are who are supporting other areas you can so, disagree with me anytime I'm I'm enough. a solo guy up here speaking my voice so um, good thing I just talked to a lot of people and I just feel like that's I don't I'm, I support pickleball 100 percent, but I just don't feel like we should be spending taxpayer money right now in this environment uh, I, to fund it. Yeah, with the tax impact being the 0 0.077 cents for a house assessed at about five hundred thousand dollars, it's thirty eight bucks for the tax year. Um, and so when I'm thinking about thirty eight dollars for pickleball as my tax burden. Um, you know, I'm thinking it's a one-time thing. Thirty-eight. I've spent thirty-eight dollars in a much sillier way. Um, this is an investment <laughs> in the town. You know, honest. like yeah. I, I've bought probably more than thirty-eight dollars with the lottery tickets that I've gotten zero bup kiss mm -hmm. from. So for thirty-eight bucks, uh, you know, like I'll give you the pickleball. It's a growing <laughs> sport. It's up in popularity by hundred and fifty-nine percent. Like let's like. Patrick said, "Be the lead on the leading edge of this." So, Mr. Chair, yeah, I'd like to make a motion. 38. I just wanted to address the comment about it's for seniors. It really isn't just for seniors. That's um, true. It's the number one player in the world is a female. She's 17, and her playing partner isn't. He's he's an older boy. He's 24. He's also the number one player in the men. But the her warm-up partner is her grandfather. This all became a big thing in COVID. Somebody said that earlier when everybody was isolating, but you could only go out and do things with your family because you were isolating together. This is where this all started, started to, to explode. So there's a lot of history there, but um, it's coming down in age. There's a lot of younger players playing regularly yeah. now. So. Mr. Anyway, Chair, I'd like I, to make a motion and to I'm amend also, Article 16. I also know the difference between a want and need. I don't disagree with you. If it came down to an ambulance or a pickleball court, I, you know, let's get an ambulance. We're we're gonna, we're gonna move. We're gonna move the motions, okay? Yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry. We're gonna move the motions. Can I just say one, one more thing? Sure. Go on, Carver, Twelve Preserve Drive. Um, you say it's a need, not a want. It's quality of life for residents. So just just take that into yeah. consideration. Absolutely. Thank you. Motion. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to amend. Motion. I'm just returning this as public comment. I picked it up by mistake. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's your motion, Ted. Motion. I'd like to amend Article 16 to include to uh, to reduce um, by uh, uh, using two hundred fifty thousand dollars from UFB. So the new number. You know, 490 minus the 250 be 240. would be 240 raised by the taxpayers. Okay, Three so what you're six. asking is, is that you're asking for uh, $250,000 to come from the June 30th un mm -hmm. unassigned fund balance towards this appropriation. Thank you for the right wording. Is that what you're asking for? Yes. Council, what say you? I'll second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 No. Opposed? No. For one, um, I am asking for a motion to move this to the warrant. So moved. Second. Um, as, as amended. Thank as you. As amended. 
So, Mr. Chair, I'd like to move Article 16, Pickleball Courts, to the deliberative as amended. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I'm fine with it going to the warrant. Okay. I hear from the people. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Councilors um, in favor? Aye. 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 No. 